I love passive income. There's no secret about it. I love passive income. Today, I'm going to show you another way on how to make passive income. One of the hardest ways to actually earn passive income besides dividends and real estate. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can earn passive income through music royalties. I'm Zeke from the Dream Green Show. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zeke. If you're new to this channel, I make videos mainly on how to make passive income, how to earn money uh, besides just working a nine to five at your job and how to invest your money. Um, I usually earn passive income through dividends. I grow a dividend account. I usually grow my portfolio by buying a dividend stock every single week or a couple every single month. And I do also buy some growth stocks. And I also bought my first real estate property this year that I'm going to be doing future videos of my real estate property in the future. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you head down to the subscribe button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. But those are a couple ways that I make passive income. I have YouTube, I have my dividend portfolio with my stocks, and I have my real estate. So a fourth way that um, not a lot of people actually talk about on YouTube is royalties. Okay, so you may be asking, what is a royalty? Okay, a royalty is a payment made by one party, the license or franchise to another that owns a particular asset, the licensor or franchisor for the right to ongoing use of that asset. So that's basically what a royalty is. If I come up with an invention and I patent that, anybody that uses my patent, I'm going to get royalties every time they sell that product. Today, we're gonna to be talking about music royalties. But you're saying, hey, I can't sing, I can't rap, how am I gonna make music royalties? Well, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you this website that you could go on and actually buy platinum hits and own the rights to those songs that you will make money on every single year. And all you have to do is pay taxes on those properties that you own. All right, so keep in mind that you could buy royalties to a song from anywhere from five years, 10 years, or the lifetime contract all the way up to 70 years. I think 70 years is the lifetime contract after death. And you'll be able to buy each of those at a different price. So you might be able to buy a song a platinum hit song for 10 years for $190,000. But if you wanted those lifetime rights to those royalties to a platinum song, you might be spending up upwards to almost a million dollars for that song. But you do not have to buy a platinum hit. You could also buy uh, artists that you believe that is going to blow up in the future. And you could buy those rights to those songs anywhere from $30,000 for 10 years or $30,000 for 50 years on the royalties to their song. Now, don't get it wrong, this is a business. Those artists could have went out and paid advertisement to boost the plays of those songs just because they knew that they was gonna sell the royalties to those songs at the end of the year, just to, just to show that this song is making this much money this month, these last couple months, this last year, this is how much you should sell it for. So you have to do your research on how much these songs were making last year, the year before that, and the year before that, just so you can know the ballpark of how much money you're going to make in the future on your song. Now, you could work for a business for you. Once you buy the song, you could go out and talk to these different companies and say, hey, you could use this song in this video, you could use this song on this TV show, on this commercial and you could advertise the song yourself and make even more money from the song once you own the properties to the rights of that song you can make more money than that artist was actually making themselves because they have a million other songs that they're worried about but you could control that one song and go out and make money from that one song just by you being an advertisement of your own intellectual property okay so the website i'm talking about is called royalty exchange you could go on there right now and sign up and buy well place bids on many different songs that are up for auctions at the moment now it's not a site that you could just sign up and place a bid you actually have to sign up go through an interview process they're going to call you 
make sure that you have the funds two hours in advance before you can even place a bid. So it's, it's, a, it's a very trustworthy website that you could go on to buy these royalties to these musics. So you can't just go on there and make blind bids. They actually go through an interview process to make sure that you're a serious buyer because there's a lot of money involved when it comes to these rights to these songs. So let's pull up Royalty Exchange right quick on my laptop just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay guys, here we go. It's Royalty Exchange. This is the website that I was telling you guys about. Um, if you wanna buy royalties, this, is, this has been featured on the Wall Street Forbes, Bloom, Rolling Stones. So some of the songs that are up right now would be Sean Paul, No Lie featuring Dual Lipa. Don't know who that is. But um, the publishing is from Sean Paul, Jason Dulero, and Pitbull for $237,000 that has one day left. So that's, that's not in a lot of people ballparks to buy a song at that price. Maybe if you've been in it for a while. But here's another one that actually sold not too long ago that you guys would know jay-z and alicia keys they're sold for a hundred and ninety thousand dollars let's see how long was it for the terms were for 10 years and over the last 12 months they made thirty two thousand dollars so you multiply that by 10 years and that would be the price you would get so this starting bid was at a hundred and ten thousand dollars the bid increment was $3,500 and the closing price is $190,500 uh, for the royalties to this song for 10 years. And remember, you're at the end of the year, you have to pay your music taxes on your profit. Okay, so the one that I had an eye on was the Charlie Wilson K-pop hits, all right? So the last 12 months, this song has made $9,548. If we click on this, let's see how long the terms were the terms were for 10 years. So if we pull out the calculator, uh, the last 12 months is $9,548. And you're buying the rights to this for 10 years. That is $95,000. And the current price right now is $33,000. So you should check that $95,000 minus $33,000. You could have a profit of $62,000 getting paid out every single year for the next 10 years owning the rights to charlie wilson k-pop hits and i heard k-pop is getting big somewhere i haven't heard it but i heard k-pop is getting pretty big out there along the lines in the world so this might be a great investment for you to profit sixty two thousand dollars so if you do have thirty three thousand dollars to invest and you don't want to put that down payment on a house or you already own real estate maybe you want to add another source of income such as royalties as a source of income so you can be um you can own royalties to songs to music and once you make your profit back from this song you can come back and buy another song and sooner or later you'll have a whole portfolio of royalty songs that's paying you out every single month every single year that you're going to accumulate so you will have um, real estate, your dividends, your job, and you have royalties coming in just like that. So now you guys know exactly how to get music royalties every single year added to your portfolio as another source of passive income. Now you can make this a job and go out and advertise this music to different companies, different shows, different um, to different concerts, and actually make more money than you are than you actually expected to get out at the end of the day from this if you make this your actual job then um just owning different royalties to different kinds of music but yeah guys um i'm not an inventor so i don't have any patents or anything like that so i am actually looking for a way to make royalty incomes i thought this one was pretty cool um, I'm going to keep my options open to see what else out there I can do to get royalty income. So if you have any other ideas on how a, a small investor can start making royalty income, please leave that down in the descriptions below. It'll help me out a lot. It'll help the community out a lot. And we can discuss it down in the comment section. Other than that, this is Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.